how do different scoliosis braces produce different results? When we talk about scoliosis bracing with patients, a lot of patients have an idea of what type of brace they want, whether they want a full-time brace or a nighttime brace, whether they want a soft brace or a hard brace. And we have to understand that different braces produce different results based upon the design of the brace. And brace prescriptions are typically case-specific, meaning we're basing the prescription based upon the patient's condition, curve severity, type, location, risk of progression, what we're seeing in the torso, there's many variables to consider. And we look at full-time bracing versus nighttime bracing is one big difference. Full-time bracing is typically where bracing is on for more over 18 hours, typically 21, 22, 23 hours a day. And this is till growth has completely stopped for the child or we've achieved enough corrective results that we're happy where we wanna start decreasing bracing. Nighttime bracing is a brace that's designed that can be only worn at night because of the design of the brace itself. Now, when we look at scoliosis bracing, it's a very common facet associated with scoliosis treatment. In fact, scoliosis bracing has been around for a very long time. When we look at the whole the history of scoliosis bracing, scoliosis bracing used to be done by a, a sculptor, where they used to cast the patient and make a, 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 a form or a mold of the patient, fill it with plaster, and then the sculptor used to sculpt an opposite torso, and they would build the brace from that sculpt to fit the patient. So it was very time consuming and it was very individualistic. As a result of this being this, this way, they've developed a way of mass producing braces and that's when the Boston brace was designed. And the Boston brace was designed to make bracing easier and more simple for doctors to use and not to have to this whole sculpting and casting type of process. And even to this day, bracing tends to be the most often used in childhood scoliosis treatment while growing. However, different braces Braces have different features in design, but most braces are worn around the torso. But now, because of the extent and computer design and CAD and CAD and CAM technology, we can build braces in a different facet that can be used not only in children, but also in adults. And the idea behind bracing is to help keep the spine in a straighter alignment. And that's the, the depending on the design and the approach of a brace it can have a very different effect. Just because a brace is plastic and it's worn around the torso, it doesn't mean all braces are designed to do the same thing. And there's a very big difference between what I like to call traditional braces that are just trying to slow down progression over time versus corrective braces that are pushing on the body and torso to try to improve the shape of the spine and body. And so one is more traditional bracing versus corrective bracing. And there's very different differences in there. And the design of the brace really matters. So when we look at traditional braces and corrective braces, what's the main difference? Well, both can be worn at full time. Both can be worn more part-time basis, depending upon the prescription. Traditional braces have really the goal and the limitation of just trying to stop progression. This is really the goal of traditional treatment, just trying to slow it down. Where conservative, modern, non-surgical treatment uses corrective bracing, and the goal is to help reduce the size of the scoliosis, not just stop it from getting worse. We want to correct some size or reduce the magnitude of the size of the scoliosis. We know a scoliosis spine doesn't just, just, just bend. It also has a twist and this twist makes it a three-dimensional component. It also has a compressive nature, meaning as the curve gets bigger, it tends to decrease the size of the torso. Where traditional types of bracing is just trying to squeeze the spine it doesn't really address this compressive nature or this rotational component that much. Well, corrective braces address the conditions through the three-dimensional nature by derotating and elongating the spine. And this really helps us reduce the size rather than just slowly, just rather than just slowing down progression. Now, full-time bracing is, is the idea is think of like braces on your teeth. We're applying pressure to the body to help remold the body and the spine into a straighter position. Scoliosis always wants to kind of go back to where it was. So when we apply a full-time dose, we have the greatest chance to affect the size of the curve and affect the shape of the, shape of the body, especially in significant size curvatures. Now, every full-time brace could be worn on a part-time basis, meaning the curve isn't significant enough, so therefore we only wanna do a part-time basis. But if a full-time recommendation is 
recommended. Well, therefore, full-time bracing needs to be performed in order for the brace to be as effective. Bracing is directly related to dose, meaning the more influence the brace has on the body is by related to how much they're wearing it. In addition, as they're wearing the brace and moving and acting throughout their day, we believe the brace has a greater effect as well. So activity while bracing, as opposed to just laying down in a brace, person active in a brace will have a greater effect on their spine and body shape than somebody who's just laying down in the brace. However, there is this whole component of just nighttime bracing. Now, nighttime bracing is a brace that's typically designed to be worn at night. And what they're typically doing is they're bending. They're taking the person and bending them in a direction. These braces are worn at night because patients cannot walk and move in these braces while they're using them because they're bending so significantly. So the most common type is like a Charleston bending brace or a Providence bending brace. Nighttime bending brace is the general term. And even though it's harder for patients to wear these during the day, physically impossible, they can wear them at night, but sometimes they are very difficult to wear at night too because they're still bending. Where if we took just a normal corrective brace, a full-time corrective brace, it may have a better effect and they can sleep more straight. They don't have to be so bending. All braces, even the bending ones or even the full-time ones, typically need to be adjusted as the spine or patients tend to grow. When we look at patients that wear these traditional braces, they're only altered as patients grow. I mean, as they get bigger, they outgrow the brace, they may design a new one. Where corrective braces can be altered as patients improve. So think of like braces on your teeth. Like as the spine gets straighter, you can alter the brace and modify the brace to make it more, more corrective. Now, one of the best things about corrective brace is something that we call the how they address progression, how they address correction, and how they address compliance. So one of the big things here is when we look at normal braces, they are not corrective in nature. So what that means is, is if the curve were to worsen, the brace becomes less and less comfortable because it's the same brace with a bigger curve. But in a modern corrective brace, something like a Scully brace or a corrective brace that, have, that represents the culmination of what we learned regarding bracing over the years is that as we improve the shape of the curve, we can improve compliance. Because first thing that happens is that as the curve gets better, the brace gets easier easier to wear. As the curve gets better, the person can see their body getting better. So therefore, they're now they're more motivated to continue to wear the brace because they can see their body improving. So by improving the curve, improving the body, and improving the how, what it, how it feels, these are all reasons why people would want to continue to comply with bracing. With a typical Boston brace, it gets less comfortable as the curve gets bigger. It squeezes, so it's a non-functional approach, and they don't normally don't get any better. In fact, a lot of cases continue to worsen. So these are all reasons why they don't want to wear the brace. So if we can address all these shortcomings with typical Boston braces and apply a more corrective brace to a patient and to get a better result, normally we're going to get much better compliance with a patient. So when we look at corrective bracing, we I find patients that don't comply well with, with Boston braces comply well with a corrective style brace because it's actually correcting by pushing the spine into a more corrected position. And this positive result is motivating itself. Now, one thing to be very sure about is that bracing by itself is not a complete program for treating a scoliosis, whether it's a corrective brace or just a traditional brace. We know corrective bracing needs to be an integrative approach with many other types of scoliosis-specific treatments. And these treatments are designed to work with the brace to give us the very best results. Typically, we can combine physical therapy, exercise, rehabilitation, chiropractic care, and many different types of approaches to combine with the scoliosis brace to give us the very best result possible. So when we look at bracing, we can divide bracing into the full-time bracing or nighttime bracing. Full-time bracing is going to be one of two types, traditional or corrective. Nighttime bracing is typically going to only be a bending brace because those are the ones that are designed for, for nighttime. They all differ in design and goals. Now, corrective bracing 
to me, provides all the goals that most scoliosis patients want. A improved ability to wear the brace, a ability to reduce the curve and improve shape and body. The ability as the curve improves to make the curve more aggressive, make the brace more aggressive to continue to reduce the curve. And as the person goes, gets better, we can switch that same brace to a nighttime only brace, where the other two have more limitations when they're associated with the approaches of bracing. So here at the center, we only use these corrective style braces like a Scully brace that's aligned with this type of approach to get us the very best results possible. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this information helpful. If you have any questions about this topic or other scoliosis questions, type in the comments below and let us know. And finally, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of when we publish new videos just like this.